Astros hosting the Royals, and the Royals are plus 210 on the money line. The Astros are minus 260. The over-under is at eight runs. The Royals getting a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And that's the way the, the casino telling you that they think they're going to lose by two. Now, the Astros laying a run and a half are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Keller did not pitch against the Astros last year or this year. Javier pitched twice against the Royals. They both were last year. One inning, no runs, no earned. They won 6-3 and 10. One and a third, one run, one earned. They won that game 6-5 and 10. So more so appearances last year. Now the Royals are on a two-game losing streak. They are 15-25 and 25 on the road. They are 5-10 and 10 as a team with Keller on the mound. And the under is 8-6 and six when he has pitched. The Astros are on fire right now. They're on an eight-game winning streak. They are 26 and 11 at home. They are seven and four as a team with Javier on the mound, and the under is seven and three in the games in which he's pitched. Now, head to head, the Astros are on a three-game winning streak. The Astros are seven and three against the Royals in their last ten. The favorite winning the game by two, laying a run and a half, is six and four. The over is five, four, and one in their last ten meetings, and the over eight is six, three, and one in their last ten. And they've had three one-run games in their last. 10 meetings. I'm going to go Astros with the money line, Astros with the runs, and I'm going under because the under trends when these two pitchers pitch. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. Please bet responsibly.